In this video, I turn this glass sphere into a forest terrarium teeming with life. First off, I got this small glass sphere, which will be the perfect habitat for my new orange isopods. I chose it so I can have perfect visibility in the mini ecosystem. Next, I got this cheap lamp for lighting, which will be enough for the plants I'm adding. Before I began adding stuff in the sphere, I made sure to wash it so it was clean. Next, I started by adding these small stones called lika. This will prevent excess water from pooling at the bottom of the terrarium. This is important because a wet substrate can lead to root rot, mold problems and other issues. You can find different ways of making drainage layers. If you plan on creating a terrarium, look for something that doesn't decompose or has a negative impact on the water parameters. Next, I will be cutting a piece of this mosquito net to separate the substrate from the lika to make sure they don't mix. The net will allow the water to go through, but will prevent the substrate from falling to the bottom. If you want to use what I use, I will leave the links of the materials in the description. Now that the drainage layer is done, it was time to add the substrate. I'll be mixing a few different soils I had, which will be perfect for this small forest terrarium. I put all the different soils I had and started mixing them well. I then carefully added layers of soil to provide a solid base for the plants and isopods to grow in. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. This right here is my rainforest vivarium, and I will be getting some of the plants from it. If you want to know more about this vivarium, I have a couple videos about it on my channel. Be sure to check them out. These are the plants I chose after picking a couple from the rainforest vivarium. Life plants are one of the most important parts of a terrarium. They play roles in the nitrogen, carbon and water cycles, helping prevent toxic buildups. I want to have this terrarium look like a chunk of the forest floor. So I'll arrange the plants to look as natural as possible. Apart from the plants from my vivarium, I also got some pine cones and tree barks to make it look more natural. All of this will create a realistic forest floor terrarium. Diverse and lush, perfect for the isopods. If you ever go to the forest, you'll notice that most of the floor is covered with leaf litter. So I made sure to add some to my terrarium as well. Leaf litter is an essential part since it provides living space as well as food for the isopods and other microfauna. When I finished adding everything, I was pretty happy how natural it was looking. A simple terrarium but filled with tons of small details and perfect for my isopods. Before adding isopods, I will be adding springtails. These minuscule arthropods, often no more than a few millimeters in size, are known for their jumping ability and love for moisture. Springtails help maintain a clean terrarium by consuming mold, fungi, and bacteria, making the terrarium healthier and helping plant grow. Finally, let's introduce the stars of the terrarium. The Vibrant Orange Isopods I got these new orange isopods recently and I'm excited to give them a new home. Also known as wood lice or roly polies, isopods are small crustaceans often found in many environments. Some of them needed some encouragement to leave, and as soon as they were in, they quickly looked for places to hide. They are quite shy animals. Since they are at the bottom of the food chain, the world is a pretty dangerous place for them. Luckily for them, 
no one will eat them in this terrarium. They can come in various colors and sizes, making them the perfect residence for our terrarium sphere. A lot of people don't really like isopods, even though they are completely harmless and are actually very helpful to nature. Hopefully, learning about them can help people understand them better. As more isopods are born here, I will move some to my rainforest vivarium. Isopods are very social animals and will have no problem living together in this terrarium. Like one of their names suggests, roly polies, they are able to use the armor they have on their bodies to get into a ball formation to protect themselves from small predators. In this speed up clip you can really see how much life is living in the terrarium already that you would never notice. These critters are not only fascinating to watch but also play a vital role in maintaining the ecosystem's balance. If you plan on making a terrarium yourself, isopods are the perfect habitat to put there. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I really enjoy making and having tiny ecosystems in my house, and I think if you enjoy this content, you should consider making one for yourself as well. I'm already working on my next one, and planning on making updates to my rainforest vivarium, so make sure you subscribe to not miss any of those.